be a someone who has power, someone who has knowledge, someone who intended to bring this universe into. Not force you, but as I said, it's what it is. Florence, it's been five years since you've come. Five years ago, you were here, and you've already done Ramadan. Yeah. How did you feel doing Ramadan? Good. Good. It's difficult, but yes. satisfying. But Florian, listen, let me explain to you. Couldn't, um, you know, try, uh, I'll get this brother to actually uh, talk about atheism, whatever, and he might convince him there is, there, is, yeah. there is a creator. So as a Muslim, we are pure monotheist. We believe that there is only one God. He is worthy of worship. We don't believe that he's got sons, daughters, mother, or whatever. Do you understand? We don't believe that. Yeah. He is beyond time, matter, space, everything. He is the creator of all that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And now he has sent prophets and messengers throughout time, different times. You know, from Adam, you know, you heard of Adam, yeah? Yes. So Adam alayhi salam to all the way to Prophet Muhammad, who is the last and the final messenger. They all came with one message, go back to the worship of oneness of Allah. Forget, stop your idol worshipping, stop your fire worshipping, stop your, you know, man worshipping, whatever, and come back to the original, yeah, pure monotheism, which is, the you know your submission to to Allah, which is you know Allah, yeah. say God. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is the message of Islam. This is the um, uh, fundamental creed. Yeah? yeah. Now, obviously, you don't believe in God. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, I've just given it like a touchdown of how this how this poem came about or whatever. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, this brother is he he can go into more on how the uh, philosophical side of things and atheist side of things. Just so, yeah. one one. One yeah. thing very quickly to my brother. You know when you mentioned about God being beyond time, matter and space? Yeah. It's better to leave this like philosophical talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best thing, okay. what, what we believe about Allah is whatever the Quran says, Quran whatever the Sunnah says. So, yeah. so um, my brother here gave yeah. you a very simple reason why we believe in God. Yeah. Because, as he said, he gave you the example of the phone. The phone exists, so we believe that someone made the phone. We are certain that someone made the phone. So if we apply that principle on, on ourselves and on the universe, we're saying there should be a creator. There should be someone who has power, someone who has knowledge, someone who intended to bring this universe into. How does that sound? That does sound make sense. That because as you said, nothing can ha something ha something has or something has to happen to make something or yeah. something has happened. Yeah. yeah. That it is cause and effect. So something had to cause this to make the universe exist. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah. But what, how did I'm you come to your, but, but the thing is, how did, you, how did you come to your conclusion that there is no God? Do you believe there's no God, as in you're, you adamant there is no God, or you're just someone who... I wouldn't say that... So you're I'm not convinced either way. I'm just not convinced. Um, sometimes it's like... I don't know, I'm really just going to like, sad to see that I go that long life, I don't really think about God too much. Okay. Like, um, even when I went, I went to my uh, secondary school, like, they were always trying to make me, like, so what make me go into religion, and I, it wasn't my thing as well. Oh, what, what type of school? What, was it uh, like a... a Chris... Adventures down the... Oh, my son went there. Yeah, I, I live around the corner from there. Yeah. Oh, so it's a Catholic school, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, would you say you're... Your issue or your point was you didn't want to be pushed towards a particular religion no, just, or just, just the actual foundation of believing in a God. So I have no issue with people believing in it, but it's like myself believing I don't so it's only about seeing that so when people are saying that about miracles happen and I've gone in deep threat and such about this miracles. Yeah. And then I'm like, maybe. But like until I've seen that in I think for myself, yeah. I can't be guaranteed. You know, what I would say concerning miracles, yeah. miracles is something which it goes against the law of nature yeah. and something which cannot be explained by natural causes. You with me? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I think I was like, no problem. I have a thing to go to and it gets lost so easy. Okay, no problem. So, a miracle is something which you can only uh, see and believe in it by it happening in front of you. Yeah. The reason why we believe in miracles is because we believe the, the testimony of the person who told us it happened. Yeah. So we believe in the Quran, we believe in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So when we 
when we believe in miracles, it's because we've been informed. It's not because we've seen it. So that, that's a separate issue. Yeah. Are, are they truthful? Are they not truthful, etc.? But the issue of is there a God? If, you, if yeah. there's no other explanation on why we exist, on why we're here, like for example now, as we're standing here, blood is pumping around your body, yeah. your, heart, your heart is pumping it, you're breathing, you're talking, you're thinking. Yeah. I can see you're trying to do two things at once. It's so difficult. There he is. Okay. Call him, innit? Call him. Ryan! Ryan! That's how long it is. <laughs> Oi! Ryan! Ryan! Yeah. Like you. Okay. No problem. Nice oh, to meet you. you. Thank you. Hang on. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Allah says that your Lord will come on the day of judgment yeah. with the angels and the angels will be row upon row. Mm. So we believe Allah will come on the day of judgment. These people say because God exists without time, without place, this is impossible for Allah. We need to reinterpret this. So that's why we have to be very careful. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to go into the philosophy side of yeah. it. I just want to stick to the message of Islam. Yeah. That's the class, really. No, but Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah. But that's when you say that God exists without time, without place. Without, yeah. For example, Allah, Allah mentioned in Quran numerous verses, Ar Rahman, Allah Ar Shistawa, that the most merciful rose above his, uh, his throne. This mentioned seven times in Quran. Yeah. You know, there's so many verses. Mm. I mean, there's so many verses, so many acts to show that Allah is above His creation, separate from His creation. When you yeah. say that Allah exists without place, mm. they, then they will negate this. Yeah. So they're negating what Allah has said about Himself. Okay. So we have to be careful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now Alhamdulillah, I tried to avoid it, but because you know what it is? He actually said that he's an atheist or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I thought, let me touch up on that, but yeah, fundamentally, yeah. I want to convey the message of Islam, yeah, yeah, yeah. what we believe in. That's it. Uh, Alhamdulillah. 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 Exactly as we have discussed. One God who is not like his creation, we come from God, God is not, he's, man is never God. So if you accept this point, my friend, which, what's your name? Florin. 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 That's a, Florin is a common, uh, there used, yeah, to, be a, there used to be a Romanian football player, his name was Florin Radicho. <laughs> yeah, he's a very good striker. This was yeah. going long back in, ago, yeah, a long time, in the World Cup. We were very old, in the 90s, 90s. <laughs> so what we're saying to you, Florin, is by you accepting Islam, you worshipping, accepting there's only one God, and we have to then adhere to God's commandments. What God reveals to us, we must accept. So for example, Muslims, we pray five times a day. In those actions that we perform, we bow to God and we prostrate, going in those humble positions, recognizing God. Why do we pray? It's because He's given us everything. If you're in trouble, and you ask me for help, will you thank me? Yes, you will. If you're in trouble and you come to me for help, I help you. Will you thank me? Yes. God has given you two nice eyes, air to breathe, mouth to eat. You should be grateful. If I ask you 50 million pounds, I'll give you. Give me both your eyes. Will you take? Never. So we should be grateful to that creator who's given us everything and we must accept that one creator. Do you believe this? Yes. The, the final messenger is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He came with the same message as Abraham, Moses, Jesus, to worship God and God alone. Inviting their communities, communities which had transgressed, meaning had gone away from worshiping God. So if you accept this, Florian, this already makes you a Muslim. A Muslim is one who says there is only one God. Man is never God. We come from God, like you said. And that God is one. And that God sends messengers. If you believe this, Florent, this makes you Muslim. Everything else you learn slowly. You I want to learn, do I start at home? Do I start coming somewhere? So what we do is, what we will do, we'll give you a nice information pack over here. Plenty of information about Islam. We're going to give you free Quran and literature. Yeah. If you, because one thing is too important to understand, Florian. If you believe what I've said, this is the central message of Islam. One God, unlike His creation. To become Muslim is very simple. Yes. In English, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you already, Florian, yeah. So far, what I've said, what this brother has said, you you already accept. Yes. You understand? 
by that, def by that yeah, admission, yeah, you are technically what I call a Muslim. Yeah, do you understand? Because you already believe in it, but you don't know, no title has been given to you. But we're just clarifying that point, do you understand? So whoever believes that there is only one creator, whoever you worship, you follow his commandment, you understand? We're not telling you, oh, you got to stay, you got to stop, um, you know, praying five times, you got to start, you know, fasting, whatever. No, take your, take a baby step every day. You learn little bit by little. We will yes. help you. We will guide you to the best of our ability. We have some brothers who are very knowledgeable. Alhamdulillah. They, you know, we have so many rivers, brothers and sisters coming to Islam. We have like, you know, group where they learn more about Islam. Alhamdulillah. Let me so just ask you. Let me, yeah. Do you want to accept Islam or do you want to learn more a little bit? I want to learn more. You want to learn more. Okay. Have a read. Come back to us. We're here every day, 2.30. Uh, sorry, not every day. Every Saturday, 2.30. Ask more questions. Okay, Florian. Last time I came to England five years ago, actually, I did Ramadan. I did from start to yeah, no, there Interesting. You Let me ask you, Flo, what, what could possibly stop you? require you to learn more to accept Islam? Because listen to me carefully. You believe in its number one tenant. It's called the Shahada. Shahada means testifying there's only one God yeah. and God sends messengers. The final message is my Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But he's same as the other messenger, Abraham, Moses, Jesus. No difference. no difference. If you believe this, technically, this makes you a Muslim. Yeah. Do you believe this? Yes. This is your Muslim. Then by definition, the definition, yeah. you are Muslim. Everything else you learn slowly at your own pace. Yeah. I would encourage you to become Muslim today. Before yeah. you yeah. continue. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is very serious because I came into Islam five years ago. As the brother said, if you have a belief, then there are three things you have to do. You have intention, you declare it, and, and action. then action. Now, neither of us can force you or guide you. Yeah. We can only convey the message, only love. Well, the you. reason why the brother is trying to tell you about the Shahada if you believe all these things and you believe, do you believe in the hellfire? Hell. You know, hell, hellfire. Um, yes, heaven and hell. Yeah. Okay. Do you believe in it? I you can learn, you can, I'm not sure about the concept. You can, you can learn about it slowly learn. after. Yeah. Learn. The reason, the reason yeah, let's, why, let's speak about the main point. We're talking about yeah. your salvation. Because one thing we can all agree on is that this life is temporary. We don't know if we live tomorrow. Yeah. From a Muslim perspective, Islamic perspective, if you take the Shahada, that guarantees you paradise. Paradise. You see all the Under. sins you've committed, minor clean. or major, yeah. they're forgiven and they're turned into reward. So what yeah. will happen now, you become Under. like a virgin. When you embrace Islam now, because what it is, you take the Shahada, now you've gone through the door. Now you've gone through the door, now you have to seek knowledge. Yes. So that's what I want to do. But what, what are you saying? The knowledge, the knowledge doesn't come, it comes when you embrace it. Because you see, you know when you said you did Ramadan? It's invalid. When, when, if anything should happen and you stand in front of your Lord on, on Resurrection Day, He's going to say to you, did you not receive the message? If you've received the message and you refuse it, you go straight to hellfire. And I'm not saying this to scare you because this was my dilemma. And the Sheikh said, Hassan, it's Shaitan. Baba, when I, I was in doubt, but when I took the Shahada, it was, it was game over. And what that does, at least, that is like saying you go to a bank manager and the bank manager says, look, to guarantee this billion pound, just sign your name. But you have to do it today. You say, oh, let me go and think about it. You come back, it's gone. Yeah. So this is this is the thing now. You can do this privately with Muslimah. Or, as you said, you can research. We cannot force you, but as I said. Well, it's what it is, Florence. It's been five years since you've come. Five years ago, you were here. And you've already done Ramadan. Yeah. How did you feel doing Ramadan? Good. It's Good. difficult, but yes. satisfying. But Florian, listen, let me explain to you. The requirement of Ramadan is twofold. Number one, when you're not eating and drinking between the prohibited times, then you're doing it for the understanding that others are in the world, they don't eat or drink. Look how God has given you. And then, as a result of the fasting, you better yourself. You think, I'm fasting. If somebody asks me something, can I lie to the person? No, I'm fasting. 
can if I want to speak bad about someone, can I? No, I'm fasting. You better yourself as a person. That's the benefits of fasting. Listen to me carefully, Flora. You already, my friend, accept the major tenet. Everything yeah. else you learn slowly. You learn, yeah. I advise you to become Muslim. Yes. Muslim simply means that you've submitted to one one God, and you believe in His prophets. Then you slowly read and understand. And if you have questions and so forth, come and ask. Do you want to become Muslim today? I will have to see. I want to okay. follow okay. first. That's no fine. problem. Okay. That's fine. We have given you every option. It's what like you do? I've been here. Big There's step. so many things happening with me. I can... No problem, okay. Florence. No Listen carefully. We're here every Saturday, 2.30 onwards. Do you want something to eat, brother? Please, please come. Have something. Come on. Have, have some food. Give him some food. Give him. Uh, have some yes, food. Because. You might be chilly, yeah, yeah. but have some food. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Oh, it's good. Okay. See, you. we, already you're part of our brotherhood, you know. Yeah, alhamdulillah. You see? No, because even now, my life is always like fast. No problem. And I want to slow down. Listen, no problem. Do you, want, do you want to? Do you want to take the brother's number? Maybe he could help you a little bit, giving you more information or whatever. So we can get some brother to give you his number. You can contact them. And they will help in Charlotte. Exactly. Or you can come here. If you prefer, you can see him come here. Speak to the camera. Speak to the camera. If you want to be a surgeon. Now you say something in the, in the camera. Do you I, have have no, no, that's fine. I want to grab another small sir. Mike, Mike, no. Why? Up your heart. It's got, it's got past Mike now. Yeah. And I only accepted the in 2018. I had a hat by the grace of God. I was reacting to the My parents, they didn't know that. Must have forget our food as well. I power to call people to save them from going to the health fair. Just like you wouldn't want your mum or your dad to suffer or sister, we don't want to, but we're not trying to scare you. We're saying you need more time, but more time for what? The brother, Mustafa, has already said to you, do you believe? You said yes. Now, when you become a Muslim, it doesn't mean, oh, you go and tell everybody stuff. No, you keep it private. Then you start to learn, how do I do the prayer? How do I do the Sakai? How do I do fasting? Slowly, slowly, like a baby. Because the religion is not something that's going to burden you. It's to make it easy. So what you can do, what I can do, what this individual is different. As I said, you can make it in private. And when you take it, you say it, keep it to yourself, and then you read. You you come here or you find a masjid, someone will speak to you. But at least you know you've saved yourself. So I will leave you. I don't want to force you. I will leave you with the brother to continue. I'm good with this. So we give you time to think. Yes, come back. Because this is why I, like everything now I have, it's a burden. So I want to slowly distance myself from that and be closer to this. Excellent. So, thanks a lot. Have a good read, Florent. You take care of yourself. You take care. Nice speaking to you. Hope okay. to see you again. Inshallah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah. Here's to the brother. Very interesting Islam, as we can see. We're having a little samosa snack as well. Bit hungry from doing the dawah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah guide him and bring him back. He's, he's close. But we don't want to push it either. May Allah guide us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.